In this video, I'm going to show you how to change this background image to a custom image on your new Pioneer Next in-dash receiver. This will work with all of the new 2020 Pioneer Next in-dash receivers that have Alexa built in. This is the DMHWT 8600 Next. It will also work on the DMHWT 7600 Next. So this is the 10.1 inch screen. It will also work on the 9 inch screen. It will work on the 9 inch screen DMHWC uh, 6600 Next. That is uh, Pioneer's modular system for a flush mount screen. DMHW 4660 Next and DMHW 4600 Next. So you can see no background images happening back there. Uh, the way we'll put a background image in is by touching the settings button here. And under the settings, let's go to the color palette. And under the color palette, let's check background. Now here's our home screen and here's our AV screen. These are two different things and we can have, we can have two different images there. So on my home screen, I can choose a very simple image, a very simple flat uh, color image on the background. And for my AV screen, which is on when I'm listening to a source, I can choose maybe a swirling image like this. And if we hit the X, we can go out and check those things out. So you can see my AV screen right here has the swirled image. My overall screen behind it has the flat green image. But I want to put a custom image back in there. And I'm going to do that through the USB in this video. But I've got no USB, so I need to plug in my USB flash drive. So here is the uh, USB extension and my USB-A adapter there. And I'm just going to plug in my USB flash drive. And I've got some music, some movies, and some still images on my drive. So I'm going to choose the USB source. On the USB source over here, we're playing some music, but I've got my option for music, movies, and still images with this button. So let's select that. And under that, I'm going to choose photos. Now please note that the vehicle is stopped with the parking brake engaged in order to view photos. And I can search for different photos by touching my search function here. And let's say I'll scroll down to the barrels. I like this one, and I'm going to select this to save this one as my background. So I'm going to touch the download button here and save it both as my AV screen and my home screen. So that is saving the image right now to the receiver's memory. Now the image has been saved, but we're still in the photo viewer. So even though that changed, we're still in the photo viewer. Uh, we want to go back out and we'll change to music. When we change to music, you can see there's the barrels image that I downloaded to the AV screen. And if I touch the home button here, you can see that there's the barrel image. The overall barrel image is back there. And this is the AV screen with the barrel image uh, right here. If I want to go back to my AV screen, I can touch the home button again. That takes me back to my AV screen and you can see the overall image.